Hey what is up everyone welcome to another video this is the part 2 of cyber security video series with Apurva. Apurva is studying masters in cyber security at Georgia Tech. Right now he's doing his internship uh, in UC Berkeley as cyber security researcher which is very cool. Like always I'll put the timestamp right here so you can skip to any part of the video you want to. In this video we talk about opportunities in cyber security, what are the different areas in cyber security, some of the misconception in cyber security, pen testing, bug bounty all these fancy terms in cyber security how as a student you can build your profile in cyber security what is the day in a life of a cyber security student and a lot more Apurva if you're watching this thank you so much for doing this it means a lot to me and our UD squad community last but not the least thank you for every single comment like and constant love and support you give you've been giving me in all my videos it means a lot to me encourages me and motivates me so keep doing that and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and now i will let you enjoy the video so before we get into anything let's do a quick intro for people who don't know you so my name is apur singh gautam i am from varanasi uttar pradesh i did my bachelor's from symbiosis institute of technology in pune and just after my bachelor's i came here for doing my master's in cyber security uh, currently i'm at georgia tech atlanta and this is my second semester i mean it's over so I, yes. I did two semesters here. So let's talk about cyber security. Like whenever I've talked to my audiences that people feel that you cannot, there's no opportunities for you as a cyber security in the United States because you cannot get jobs as an international student. And I've been telling them that that's not true, but I want your opinion. Like what, what's your thought on that? So, uh, yeah, uh, I mean, I also thought that before coming here, and my friends also thought that but after researching more and also talking to the seniors we got to know like that's not true there are many i mean uh, like you must have seen news articles where they said there's uh, 300 something million jobs uh, by 2020 like open jobs and no one to fill up because there's a, a knowledge gap because people don't know like uh, people don't know much about uh, cyber security or a particular job role to be filled up so uh, and also in us uh, there the we cannot do jobs related to government projects right. so there there i mean i will not say many companies but there is uh, ample amount of companies that uh, re, uh, like work with the government so you can't get job there you have to have clearance and other things but apart from it there are like thousands of jobs where you get i mean you will get it so, yeah what, what are some some of the companies like if you can name some of the companies which you think uh, so, uh, that, yeah i mean the main is google like people my my friend just got internship in google so in uh -huh. google you can get it there's fireeye microsoft amazon these all companies take like uh, Urwa, you have to promise me if you do get job in google uh, you will still come back on our channel <laughs> And, and talk about how did you get it in Google. But I don't know if I will get it or not, but yeah. Why not? I, I, I mean, we could, you, so for people who don't know, uh, let's, let's give them a quick uh, update. Like where, 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 where did you get your summer internship? So it's a research division in UC Berkeley. That's ICSI. And yeah, I mean, that's... <laughs> I mean, you know, you're going to be a researcher in UC Berkeley. Eh? That's not far from Google. <laughs> Let's talk about cybersecurity in general. Like, what do people learn in cybersecurity? Because I think uh, there's a big like misconception. Like, people think cybersecurity is all about hacking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, I mean, did you think that, or like maybe it's maybe my perception? I not everybody, but you know, what what do people learn when they get master's degree in cybersecurity? That's kind of what my question was. Uh, so, I mean, uh, let's, I mean, I want to track back a little, not just masters. Uh, so, uh, like, me personally, I started, I mean, I developed my interest in cybersecurity when I was in, like, ninth class. Mm -hmm. And at that time, it was for just for, I mean, it was, uh, for me, it was just hacking. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah later I understood, like, what cybersecurity is and the everything, what goes with it and all. So, uh the, the people who are starting just like starting in cybersecurity or just with hacking also like if they are interested in hacking so first of all 
you need to understand like you need computer science background uh, not just ba- uh, not background like you need computer science knowledge so you need to know programming you need to know how operating system works with the windows or linux and you need to know the networking basics and these all things they learn in bachelors if they uh, if they take like computer science or information technology so these basic things are necessary for you to grow in cyber security and uh, the major thing is programming like i have seen many people they say like uh, you can enter into cyber security without programming knowledge so uh, yes you can enter into cyber security without programming knowledge but you cannot grow into it without programming knowledge at some point you have to make your own tools you have to make like you have to write scripts so programming knowledge is necessary there also yeah and that that's good uh, what kind of programming do we need uh, for cyber security uh, so now it's majorly python uh, if you are like i mean for writing scripts for automation mostly python is used but uh, you have to uh, like know basic oop concepts like c c++ or java any of the three i would say go for c++ because it has like much interaction with the os level and then learn python uh, there are also different languages like, like ruby for like for advanced exploit development kind of thing but uh, the people who start in they just need to know like python or any other language now coming back to the main question which is cyber security what do people learn in cy- cyber security what is cyber security about i mean it's just security like securing something at the end of the day so mm-hmm. uh, whether you are on offensive side whether you are on defensive side you have to secure companies assets at the end of the day people like the c suits or the top level in the company they care about their product they care about their company's reputation they care about their like uh, you call risk so they always think about risk every time and the security people like us we need to make sure that they don't lose money like the organization they don't lose money in any case so the offensive people they what they do they try to like uh, do offense stuff on the like uh, pen testing uh, there's a one area in where you like uh, try to exploit the uh, companies like any any software and then submit a report to the company like you have this this what is yeah i i, I hear you what is pen testing so uh, pen testing is uh, uh you have to uh, like there are many uh, so there are two types like whether company will hire someone to uh, do pen testing on their product or they will have internal pen test teams mm-hmm. so pen testing is you try to find vulnerabilities in a software and try to exploit it mm-hmm. and then you uh, then you need to submit a report like we found this this vulnerability in your software we exploited it this way and you need to correct it and the defense teams then they look at the exploits and uh, like they look at the report and try to fix it kind of so is this like a full time job would you say that uh, so test? yeah pen testing is a full time job and uh, apart from pen testing what most uh, of the company like you might have heard about bug bounties so oh, what what uh, bug bounty no have, uh, so bug bounty is like many companies uh, uh, they put their like critical uh, i mean i would not say critical they put their uh, some kind of product or website or mobile app on uh, several bug bounty pages and it's like uh, uh, giving it to the whole world and telling them uh, you can come and try to exploit it and we will give you money oh and yeah that's bug bounty so people earn like uh, many people they like leave their jobs and do bug bounties and i mean it's there's so much money you earn like you can earn i mean people it starts from 500 dollars and it goes up to 100000 dollars and wow. there's no limit there but the thing is you need to understand the whole web base how web works what are the exploits what are the like vulnerabilities so that's something you need to learn so the, it, it, this is one part of security so uh, like this there are several parts of security what what are some other things which you learned so uh, i i started with the offensive sites uh, side only uh, i did some bug bounties although i never like got any bounty but i submitted many reports so i did this basic part and then i did pen testing uh, pen testing also has 
like web pen testing, network pen testing. So in network, you just uh, work with networks, like basic networking components. And then there's uh, mobile pen testing, like Android, iOS, I, although I, did, I didn't do that. So I did some pen testing stuff. And then I, when I got my first internship in my third year, I think bachelor's, I was introduced to like blue team side, like defensive side. Yeah. And under defensive also, there are many, like, some like top level things are policy making so there are jobs for like people who make security policies and the other uh, like my area is threat intelligence so we gather data mm. yeah uh, so we gather data and analyze it and then submit the report so it's like you analyze a attack and then look like how the attack happened why the attack happened and who attacked if you can find it out. So these type of things. So that's the defensive side work. So you try to defend your network. All right. I'm going to track back a little bit and ask you, like, what does your day look like as a student? Uh, what, like, you know, as a Georgia Tech student, what does your day look like? So, like, we had, like, I think we have to take 12 credits as an international student. That's four subjects, uh, four courses. And... Uh, m- like all like in us all courses are practical oriented so you will have uh, more weightage on the projects than on the exam and people don't care about exams also here i mean they have they take it they take it but uh, professors don't usually care about like how much marks you're getting in exams it's more of a project oriented uh, coursework here so like you have to uh, uh, like they like uh, some of the subjects are like network security or uh, cryptography so these type of subjects you have to take and uh, do projects related to like uh, many projects and for network security you have to design many plugins security plugins or some other kind of like uh, you have to design ransomware so there are yeah. different kinds of projects there so it's uh, like when i have college when you have college so it's waking up at 6 6 30 and the college starts at 9, uh, 9, 9.30. And so the classes are not consecu- uh, like continuously. So you will have one class in the morning, one class in the evening. Or sometimes you have three classes, like morning, mid, and then evening. And sometimes it's just morning and no other classes. So it depends. Like in US, every I think everywhere it's the same. You have classes some days uh, and not some other day. Uh, so you attend classes and uh, in between also the amount of projects you get you will be busy every time like yeah. uh, in holiday zone also you have to you will be working on some kind of projects yeah. so you will not you will never be free what i would say <laughs> you will never be free yeah how do i build my profile and like what do i do to you know what kind of things need i need to focus on what kind of skills i need to focus on so what what's your take on that so uh, my recommendation would be uh, first of all the uh, learn cs concepts like programming uh, operating system like working architecture and networking concepts these three are the main things you need to learn this i mean right. you cannot go above, uh, like you cannot go forward without learning this and then uh, like make projects so i mean uh, the first thing is Google, don't just, I've seen many people just plainly ask how to start in security. Like you, you, if you just Google this thing, you will get many blogs and blogs. So in security, people make blogs, like many people make blogs. So just try to read it and see what, like how they started, how they, uh, where they are, what they are doing. And uh, uh, there are many blogs uh, that, write uh, how many areas are there in security what all areas deal with and uh, the people who are starting they don't know these many areas in security and also they don't know uh, what they will like right so yeah so the main thing is start with like i started with offensive but i'm now in defense so the, like you can change uh, fields in your starting point so you can try to learn like there are many videos on youtube and I mean, there are many courses, there are free courses. I would not say pay for courses because in a starting, you don't know whether you will pursue that particular area or not within security. So try to Google it, try to uh, look up, look up on YouTube. Uh, there are many, like many courses. Yeah, many free courses. 
pertaining to different areas so look at and try to do what like there are many people who show you practically uh, what projects they are doing so try to do it and see, then see if you like it or not like it also there are many uh, sorry there are many uh, like what uh, i told you about challenges or problems online so in security there are many websites that offer you that uh, you can download uh, uh, machine like virtual machine you can download virtual machine and do pen testing on it or uh, you can play, uh, so there is a ctf capture the flag i don't know if you have heard of it yeah. so capture the flag is uh, is like event uh, so there are many questions uh, related to different areas like cyber sec- uh, like cryptography web uh, forensics and yeah. you have to solve that so try to compete in those competitions uh, right. try like, because they have every like majority of the areas like reverse engineering cryptography like web and forensics so you can start like any people any student who is starting with he can start with capture the flags and then go on like with other things yeah so, it's uh, it's a very similar to sounds very similar to hacker rank and lead code where yeah 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 all the yeah, problems yeah. when you go up and same thing capture the flag basically yeah, yeah. so now what i want to talk about is uc berkeley how did you get that internship what was your internship search look like mm.